A new day, a new project, and uh, here I have a piece of technology I have to show you. Well, this is a Voltcraft DCO 1022 or 1022M, 25 MHz with a 25 mega samples per second uh, with a 250 uh, ms per second okay this is an old model it's uh, from i believe 14 15 years ago what i want to show you i bought this from ebay looking bright new i don't see any kind of marks here probably from the transport just but nothing on the buttons it's nothing it's clean it's like new Okay, so I was really trying to find some uh, info about this uh, particular oscilloscope and I couldn't find anything, no software, nothing from uh, this guy from Voltcraft. But in the same time, taking the look and, uh, uh, you know, getting the pictures, I found that in fact, this is a Unity 2025B. Why B? Because the screen it's black and white we don't have a colored screen uh, here well you know something that that's really doesn't bother me i need this guy for measuring not for seeing uh, movies what i found annoying it's the fan the fan it's pretty loud so now it's booting up and here i have the main screen i like this kind of uh, white on black kind of screen what can i say you see the good point here is this guy it cost me 70 euros and 20 for the post from germany you can't get anything like that with 70 euros just all kind of uh, crazy mini oscilloscopes or whatever new implemented i don't know anyway this is a really really piece of oscilloscope i mean it's uh, it's behaving perfect i could read even uh, higher than 50 megahertz even it's 25 yes it's reading it's reading of course have a fft all the math stuff not a fancy oscilloscope it's just a working horse if i may say okay so this model is ut 2025b with a bandwidth of 25 megahertz, a sampling rate of 250 ms per second with a mono display. Okay, it's an 8-bit resolution, a analog to digital converter. Uh, we have a deflection factor volts per division at 12, uh, uh, two, 2 millivolts per division. Uh, like I said, analog bandwidth, it's like 25 megahertz for this uh, model. Also, we can have a selectable analog bandwidth limit at 20 megahertz. That's for, that's for better noise uh, ratio or noise uh, on screen. Rise time, it's like, uh, it's better than 3.5 nanoseconds. For this model, it's 20 nanoseconds okay now we have a uh, 1000 hertz one kilohertz from the from the inside the uh, probe compensation generator uh, unfortunately i don't have i don't have a good probe for now so i'm just using this uh, this guy here we have auto this is perfect so it's just you know choosing the the perfect configuration here all the whistle and everything what a good oscilloscope should have i don't want to get into the technical things for now because i don't have a good probe so i can't do any tests but what can i do is to open it up and to take a look inside okay so let's see how can we dismantle this guy two at the bottom of the case only those two we have an rs232 i think port here and the usb port it can be used with a software a virtual panel software oh yeah of course i was thinking about that behind the handle but you have to keep the handle in a special angle here and we should be able to take out the case maybe i have to take this out yeah of course that was the solution 
and there we go the back cover it's away well i think i saw this kind of uh, setup okay one two three four i can't see any kind of touch or i think this wasn't dismantled and now we can also see about the fan how much dust is inside there so that can tell us if this was ever working or not or better said if it was worked i think that this place that kind of uh, cfl background i i believe it's not led doesn't stir as long as it's bright enough to do the job why not going away okay uh-huh we have to take little screws here from the serial port pam pam oh look at the fan the fan it's untouched as clean as a prima donna very clear nothing to say about this was not working at all no dust anything clean and let's look inside that's the power supply huge power supply by the way great looking so we have that screen here and I'm gonna take that out in a split of a second we have a huge chip over there which is erased I mean erased I'm talking about numbers and everything on the chip memories I'm not so clever with the oscilloscopes I'm trying now to understand how they are working and all the stuffs let me see if I can take out this screen and uh, take a look at that guy there yeah perfect so now we can have a better view of the board and maybe I will take out power supply yeah this is a CVL backlit uh, LCD we have we have this uh, little guy here supplying like 60 or 80 volts for the backlight for the display backlight I'm pretty sure this uh, oscilloscope can be upgraded to a color screen shouldn't be any problem well I think it's looking pretty similar to many others unity boards so I wonder if there is a way to hack this board for for higher frequencies so uh, maybe you can give me a hint about that let's take this hole out let's not forget to put them in the same position okay the ground yes now we can have a very clear view to the board like I said Altera Cyclone uh, TM okay really nice shootings here the station is over now let me see if I can take this out but I don't think it's something special here I don't want to make a mess around here that's my fingertips here nobody touched that before I don't want to open it up okay so that's the main board let's put the things together you see my question is if you have any experience with this kind of boards with Altera, Cyclone and the other processor there which I suppose because I remember I saw some tutorials about this kind of board and uh, I'm really curious if, it, if there is any way to firmware for a better um, fragrance in the meantime I'm gonna have a little as long as I have this uh, kind of thing on the Altera processor thermal paste here power supply back in place yeah so now I have to put the plastic top back in the meantime let's see if it's still working <laughs> let's see if it's still working of course it is everything's fine here people no problemos okay so I think that was for today like I said before if you have any experience with this kind of boards and if you can uh, give me a hint how to eventually upgrade this guy 
it will be really nice. See you soon. Don't forget, have fun and season greetings for everybody. Bye bye.